What are you doing, bro? Getting in me steps. Yo, what's going on peeps? Welcome back to another video. So one of my biggest fears is it's been, been it for a very long time. It gets worse when you have kids. You ever seen bodybuilders run? Like, properly try to run? Good morning. It's a scrumptious day and It's not the one, so let's go through stretching routine. I know you guys are probably wondering like, why are you wearing a durag? And why haven't you tied it up? Cause, Cause it's locked down. So this is a routine that I came up with to do like, Pretty much every day, like literally takes about 12 to 15 minutes. So you're gonna need a few things. First of all, a mat. You also need a plant, so it makes a very feng shui, you know? All, all stretching videos and stuff have plants. So I introduce to you, Barry. You also need to naked yourself. You don't, you don't actually have to do that point, but we do have to take up the do. But before we start, it would be very helpful if you could just, the like button, like this. You could hit that and Smash like, the if you yeah. actually like the content then subscribe if you want to see my face again and yeah let's go. Alright so we kicked off with the heel quad stretch so this you kind of like lean sit on your heels and then lean backwards and push your hips up to get a full quad stretch but also um, I do this thing where I need my hands into my arches into my feet to like relax the arches a bit but don't watch the feet yeah don't watch the feet because like I cream them I, I did, but I, I just need one of those proper pedicures. Well, I wanted to keep this whole workout pretty simple. So we've kind of gone with a circuit format. So it's basically one minute of the movement or the stretch followed by 15 seconds to kind of transition yourself. But the way that I've set out the exercises and the stretches, you can kind of flow with it. So there can be minimal rest in between, which is what brings it down to that 12 minute mark. And then right here, we've got like the typical child's pose, which really, it stretches, keeps stretching out the quads, gets a little bit of um, uh, hip as well, but also stretches out the back and the, the shoulders. Before moving into the spine wave, this one, all I hear is is just <laughs> so much, so much noise from all of the things just like, releasing but it's important that you kind of you you perform the wave so it's almost like unlocking each vertebrae one at a time i think that's the best way that i can explain it um so you're really like almost unfolding yourself before then moving into the cat cow so now you can start to see the way that this could flow if you didn't want to have that 15 second little break in between um and this just really stretches out the back um gets the shoulders mobilized because your arms are dead straight into the into the floor it also gets a, a bit of a stretch across the arms as well but i just genuinely love this exercise so much and then we move on to thread the needle which is literally just stretching out the back of the shoulders um and the upper back which for me is very tight and a lot of people will have a very similar thing when you know we're very bench press heavy so this one this is a really good one to kind of really get the shoulder nice and relaxed before doing the opposite of doing the pec stretch now this can either be doing this can be done lying down or you can do it how i'm doing in a kneeling position lying down also feels absolutely amazing but just gets a nice stretch across the um across the pec and also across the um, the arm as well, so it just yeah, it just generally feels nice. But I'm I'm actually feeling a little bit uh, relaxed just just watching this. Oh, and the music, oh, mm. and then we moved on to wrist walks. Now this one you you'll probably need to ease yourself into it and probably just start with like a static hold um, because it does it can feel uncomfortable if your wrists are tight in the first place. So if that is the case, literally just stay in that position and you know adjust yourself move your body forwards yeah move your body forward so it takes a bit of the pressure off and then slightly like slowly start easing back and then this quad stretch complex this is more mobility flow so i, I normally do this i do this before my workouts as well um but also just as a general stretch because it just it just feels nice moving within the stretch 
so you, yeah work one side and then work the other you also get like really nice rotational stretch as well across the lumbar which feels great and i think a lot of us that sit at desks a lot of the time this one really helps most of these really help with with those those issues and then a pigeon stretch pigeon stretch you got you got a tight bum uh, <laughs> got tight glutes and just legs in general uh, this is a great one it just feels really nice across the hip flexor um, of the leg that's back and then the glute on the leg that's in front um, also exposes the lack of range of flexibility because I've seen people doing this and their leg is like see how my leg is bent back their leg is like completely straight like perpendicular to their body and I'm just like right yeah I, I, I'm gonna have to work on that still and then we move on to the squat sit so this is literally just sitting in a squat it's it's amazing how something so simple can feel so good but it just one of the main things is making sure you're not kind of leaning onto your toes and you're trusting your hamstrings and you'll see that translate into your squat itself um, before going on to the squat to stand so you know feet under your feet under your toes fingers under your feet is that right fingers under your feet and you go um into like a hamstring stretch and then push your knees forward push your hips out and come into a squat before going up again so you're you're getting the full hips hip stretch as well as the hamstring stretch all right into the final the final quarter downward dog first time i did this if you go back and watch my bodybuilder does yoga video this was hard this was one of the hardest things I'd ever done. Um, I couldn't even keep my heels on the floor, but it is important that you you adjust yourself to be able to keep your heels on the floor and you really push through your shoulders. So you want to push your shoulders to your ears, essentially. And this one, I have no idea what it's called. It looks like it looks like some casting couch kind of kind of ish, but it, it's not. It, it's it's a natural stretch for like the adductors um and there is a different way of doing it where like your feet aren't touching they're actually out wider so you look like a what is it like a like a chicken that's about to be roasted nah let, let's let's leave that let's leave. <laughs> that sounds terrible <laughs> that was awful Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys are feeling very relaxed as well. I'm gonna actually type this up and put it in a PDF that you can download in the description. Why? Cause I'm nice like that, yeah? You're, very, you're a very nice person, Gabe. So in return, I'm going to make sure that I hit the thumbs up button to say thank you, yeah? All right, that's it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a nap. <laughs> Catch you on the next one, peace.